Hey, Foundry, I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, throughout this series uh, that we're talking about more than a vacation, uh, we're going to be giving some practical uh, tips and advice for how we can uh, practically live uh, the, the teachings out each and every week. And so rather than a long form conversation, we're going to be uh, putting out these videos or these audio files, uh, as well as graphics to uh, encourage you to take what we're talking about on a Sunday morning and put it into practice. So today uh, we are going to be talking about uh, this idea of slowing that we talked about on Sunday. Uh, and I'm going to give you five different practices or tips to, to try to implement slowing. Because uh, we know throughout this series, it's going to be very important that we actually try to live out some of these different tricks and practices uh, so that we can actually uh, see the difference in our lives so that we can experience uh, the rejuvenation that comes from Christ. So the first uh, practice I want to give you this week uh, is this idea, allow yourself to wait without distraction. Now, I think this is really uh, important and helpful uh and where I see it kind of coming into place is, you know, when you are out, uh, out and about, if you go to the grocery store, uh, wait in a longer line. When you wait in a longer line, don't get on your phone, don't get on a device, or uh, if you have a doctor's appointment, as you're in the waiting room, as you're waiting to see the doctor, feel free to go ahead and just wait. Uh, don't pull out a device, don't pull out these ways to kind of distract ourselves, but instead, uh, giving ourselves the space to slow down. Uh, if you want to practice it in much of a long, a much more long form version, do it over lunch, do it over dinner where uh, maybe you're in a position where you're eating and, and you're eating by yourself. Um, instead, instead of getting on your phone, scrolling through social media, working through lunch, just eat lunch quietly, trying to not be distracted by anything, uh, putting those distractions in front of you, but instead having the space you need uh, to contemplate uh, God and to contemplate uh, just what it means to slow down. The second one is this, audit your hours this week. Where did you actually spend time? Uh, the nice thing about this is is in 2022, there's a lot of apps that you can use to, to do this. Uh, it is incredibly helpful. It's, some, it's a practice that I've uh, implemented at various times in my life to just see, hey, where am I, where am I using my time? Uh, you can use your phone to track that where you say, okay, I'm going to move on to the next thing. And uh, get get into as much detail or as little detail as you want. Um, but you can also, if you don't want to use your phone for that, you can also do, use a journal. You can use uh, different forms that you find online uh, to help you just see how am I spending the days each day? How am I spending the hours? Uh, that will allow you to then see where am I spending too much time doing something? Where am I spending too little time? Where am I multitasking and I shouldn't be doing that? A third practice uh, that you can do throughout the series is you can read the book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry uh, by John Mark, Mark Comer. Um, this book is is loosely where the series is coming from. Uh, we're taking a lot of themes and ideas from that book, although it's not a series uh, around that book. So by reading that book, you're going to come into more ideas and more ways that you can implement some of these practices of eliminating that hurry, or in this case, slowing down. A fourth practice I would give you uh, this week is that you could commit to taking a 30 minute walk each day and, and a bonus if you do it without using a device, you know, 30 minutes, maybe that's not the exact number, but maybe it's 15, maybe it's 60. I don't know what it is for you, but trying to create that space where, uh, you are out in nature, you are experiencing, uh, the ways that God is moving, that you are able to see what is actually happening around you, as opposed to just moving from place to place, uh, it creates a different sort of learning experience and a different uh, value that you can uh, receive from slowing down when you're able to slow down and, and take a walk and, and see what is happening around you. Um, as you're doing this, be aware of your senses. What are you smelling? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? Uh, it helps you reframe kind of just where you're at in your surroundings and, and even your relationship with God. The last practice uh, to give you today is, is to share a meal with someone without talking about how busy you are. And, and what I would add to this one as well is when you share this meal with someone, uh, don't put an ending to the end of it. You know, create space where maybe this meal needs to be an hour, two hours, three hours, uh, where you can just continue to uh, engage in the relationship and, and be present 
as opposed to thinking about all of these other things that are going on, all of the things that you're missing out on or, or what's coming next. Um, in addition, just what are we talking about? Like, let's not just talk about how busy we are. Let's not talk about our schedules, uh, but instead let's engage in a relationship where we are talking about who we are, where we're talking about what we're learning about God, what God is teaching us, uh, how we see God at work in our lives, uh, maybe something uh, from from our, our childhood or, or that we want to unpack a little bit, or, or maybe it's just, hey, we want to talk about something that is just a, a form of rest or slowing down and, and just have fun conversation as opposed to uh, talking about all of the busyness that we experience in life. These are just five uh, habits. Uh, I hope that some of them may be, may be ones that you can implement this week. Maybe you can practice one of them. Maybe all five of them are things that you want to explore uh, over the coming days. Uh, but there, there are ways that you can begin to practice this idea of slowing. We'll be back next week with some uh, more tips and more helpful practices that you can implement when it comes to the next conversation that we'll be having.